zoom out. Oh, zoom in. Oh, no, wrong way. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to use is this Face of Australia Eye Primer. This is the Matte Primer. I'm just taking a Furless PPE2 brush. I am applying this onto my lid. Now for the bright shadows today, I'm using the one, the only sugar peel. I absolutely love their shadows. So I'm going in with the first shadow called Flame Point and just using a stiff brush. This is a Bedlam brush in 772. It's just nice and stiff and quite small. So with that orange shade, I am just going to pack that in the center of my lid. So you really want to use just padding motions rather than sweeping motions, especially with bright colors. It's going to pack that color on there and prevent fallout. All right, now going in with the shade Dolly Pop, also by Sugar Pill. Still using the same brush. Basically what you want to do is dip the same brush in between the two colors and just start to like blur out that line and basically just where that line is I'm just going to drag the pink into the orange going back into one color back into another color and just really softly start to blend it. Taking the shade Vanilla from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to dust this onto my crease and also help blend away any harsh lines. So I don't wanna to blend too much of the color right up to the crease, but I just wanna diffuse any lines. Onto eyeliner today, I'm taking Napoleon Purtis's China Doll Gel Liner in the shade Equinox and just on my Fearless PPM2 brush, I'm going to do a bit of a dramatic wing liner because you guys know me, I just cat eyeliner, oh yeah. I'm basically just going to draw a line and then another line. Now I'm moving on with Elf's Precision Liquid Liner in black, which I do feel is a good liner, but the bristles of this is absolutely crap. They just spread in all different directions and it's quite thick. But it's the only one I can find. <laughs> anyway, I'm basically gonna go over the same thing that I've just done, just to crispen it up a little bit, make that wing a little bit more defined as well. that same black gel liner and apply this on my lower waterline. Now I'm going to apply some lashes. So while that's drying I'm going to go in and decorate my lower lash line. Yeah, I'm just going to go back in with this same small brush first and straight in with that orange in the center. So basically I'm going to try and mimic my top lash line onto my lower lash line and then go in with the pink shade either side of it. Because it's so like sharp and I don't want it to be that sharp, I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush, this one, and back in with the same shades, the pink and then the orange. Look at that nose. It's a very Oh no, oh no, there was yellow on my brush. Oh no, I thought it was a clean brush, but there was yellow on it. All right, so I'm going in with Australis's Fierce Eyes of Volumizing Mascara, and I'm going to absolutely drown my lashes in it. That lash is lifting! And I've got a blue top and a blue background. It kind of, that was coincidence. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. It would mean so much to me. And if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Become a part of the family. I love all of my subscribers. I try my best to reply to all of your comments. So definitely subscribe, leave me a comment. I'd love it. All right, guys, I love you all. I'll see you guys very shortly in my next video. <laughs> Bye.
Over the next few minutes, I'm going to be telling you the truth about animal testing in the cosmetic industry. Most of you won't like what I'm about to tell you because most of your favorite brands are still to this day involved with torturing and in most cases, killing animals. 